Right, what's up everybody welcome to uh, the next installment in this show and tell now we've got this car if you missed the first part I did the uh, you know two-sided drawing and how do we race it using your needed eraser then I did a part one uh, kind of going through the shading and now uh, I'm just gonna keep on keeping on with the next part uh, in this series so basically what we're doing here now that we've got the horizon line um, we've got this front wing um, we're just going to keep on continuing with the shading. Now, what I didn't get to last time was, uh, you know, we've hinted at some some interior work here, and uh, basically, I'm going to go ahead and outline. And actually, use one of my lighter pencils here. We're going to outline some of what is probably in the um, front seat here. So, again, for these. Um, for these front seats, they're going to be inset a lot more than your than your normal car is going to be because supercars are a lot wider. Um, there's obviously not going to be any back seats, um, but we will hint at some, um, you know, some different infrastructure in here. So I've got a little bit of a, a seat outline, and uh, I'm not sure you know, something like that. So again, uh, this isn't a particular car if you've seen my other drawings you know I, I just kind of make cars up uh, as I go and uh, don't really try to recreate specific cars but um, this does have a certain Lamborghini type of feel doesn't it so we'll just keep going with that so um, from the other ones you saw that really a big part of this is erasing um, the past sections that I have and um, right now we're just going over and kind of solidifying and clarifying those main uh, lines. Also, hey, don't forget, don't push really hard with your eraser in case you crinkle the paper like I did here. Uh, that's a problem. So, all right, so basically now I'm just kind of uh, going over the top, adding shadow. This is going to be, uh, you know, this is a window here, so I'm just going to go ahead and darken this, bring it down, and maybe behind that is an air intake. Um, if you haven't seen from the other videos, I, I don't often do pencil, um, but what I'm doing here is using pencil and then I'm, I'm smudging it. Now when you smudge, you're gonna lose some detail, but the benefit is that you're, you're getting some of that, that gradation in there. Now, if you saw my other video on um, pencils, you'll know that I have all these pencils and I really only use two. And I'm using this uh, fairly heavy 2B one. Um, 2B or not to be, ha ha, get it, leave a comment if you thought that was funny. Um, but really what I'm going in here is using this extra dark one to um, focus on these really dark areas. So I'm doing a little bit more high contrast and obviously a little more rushed uh, than I would normally do it just because I don't want you to sit here and have to watch a 45 minute video uh, of me drawing. But basically we're taking this, we're going to darken all of that and uh, you can see we're starting to just hint that there's you know there's a chair in there so we're going to come back to that i'm just going to keep uh you know obviously there's the console and um all the interior parts and components i'm just gonna and you can see i'm holding my my pencil sideways like this uh we're going to come back to that i'm just gonna sort of smudge and move on here just to hint at that um now we've got i do want to darken this up a little bit because this is where obviously we're going to have shadow from this uh the door that's flipped up here and uh, this door for anytime you have a door you know it's not just um, glass meets meets metal there is weather stripping around it and there is a little bit of um, you know metal materials that go around the window um, in this case I'm just going to shade it give it a light shade like this and also when you are doing windows don't forget you'll be able to see through it so I'm going to hint a little bit that you can see through it I like to make these angular lines when I am doing windows and just you're sort of gradating it. So up here at the top and you can see I'm coloring outside the lines, everyone. Don't freak out. Uh, I'm just doing that. I'm going to go back and erase it. Um, but as you're doing windows, I like to kind of bring in these uh, diagonal lines just for, to indicate that they're, that they're glass and they're reflecting like that. So see, look, it's all going to be okay. Got my eraser. I'm going back. Okay, you're okay, I'm okay, everything's okay. All right, so I might bring in here and just bring out some of that as well. So that's okay, I'm not totally happy with that, but uh, you know, a big part of this is sort of evolving it as you go and as you finish other components, um, you may wanna go back and, and uh, change things that you've already done. 
So let's get to this rear wing just because uh, I want to make sure we get to each each part. So we've got a very elegant rear wing here. I'm just going to color up like that, just like the front wing. And maybe it's carbon fiber or maybe it's whatever color this car is. Uh, I'm just going to go for it here and do my smudge thing. I think this is actually a little high on this side. You see that? I think I actually want that to be a little lower like there, but maybe it's too late because you can see it behind. Whatever, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So, all right. All right, so now as you're smudging, you can go back once you're kind of satisfied with the, um, the particular tone that you've got, you can go back and darken in some of those detail lines like that. All right, so we're bringing up some shadow from there. We're gonna bolden this line here. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna bring in some shadow from the back, and now I'm just gonna mostly smudge to get that. See how nice that is? That looks real nice. Now I'm kind of making an arc over the wheel wells. That's just kind of a trick. Um, that is a mess up. Yes, it very much is. You can see one of the previous videos to see how I did that. Um, got a little horizon line right here that we're gonna do. So I'm going to bring this in and that curve right as it dips down near the rear well, rear wheel well indicates that that wheel well is flared out. Um, and that's what it looks like if you study a car and study the reflections uh, around the wheel wells, you'll notice that um, that they bulge just a little bit. Now supercars obviously don't have as many of the traditional lines that you might recognize in you know, Toyota Camrys and things of that nature. Look at that, we're gonna darken that in. I'm gonna go ahead and darken this tire as well, just so we can get to the tire work, which is, you know, can be, can be time consuming. So smudge that up, go back in here. You can also wait till the end to do the tidying. I just didn't want you to like scroll ahead in the video and then see that I had like made a huge mess and you're like, oh, this is the worst video I've ever seen. By the way, I don't think my car art is the best car art in the entire world. I think the thing that I'm really good at is explaining how to do it and explaining why I'm doing what I'm doing. I think you can find tons of people who control cars much better than I can and who are doing it professionally. Um, the thing is, I, I think I'm pretty good at explaining the technique and explaining some of the, um, you know, the motor skills and the motions that go along with making some of these design choices. Um, other than that, the, the design of the car and the lines and really having that eye, to some extent, you're not gonna learn that through any of my YouTube videos or anyone else's. You're gonna have to sit, that, sit down and um, practice. And over time, you'll develop your unique sense and your style for how you approach the, um, the design process. So I can teach you the technique, I can teach you the, the tools, I can teach you the, the methods, uh, but really having that design eye, I'm not gonna say that you are either born with it or you're not, it can be learned. Um, but actually the, the contrary is true as well. If you are born with it and you have a gifted eye and you have a very natural um, ability, uh, nothing replaces hard work and discipline when it comes to your craft. Especially when you get to art school or you're you know, in your first job or just starting out in your career, you may be the best at whatever your thing is, like drawing cars or lacrosse or photography. You might be the best at that from your particular past, your school or your town or whatever. But then when you go to, you know, go to college or you go to um, your first job, you might be surrounded by people who are just all the best from their towns. And you're like, wow, I am actually terrible at this compared to them. So I think the trick is to you know, not get discouraged if you feel like you're not the best, um, or if you are the best, don't get don't get puffed up about it because don't worry, there's plenty of people better at better than you at whatever that thing is. So, um, but you know, there's a saying in the professional world: hire for the attitude and train for the skills. And I think to some degree, the same applies even to professions as elite as car design, which is don't think your stuff is the best, don't think you don't have room for improvement, and uh, keep trying, have a good attitude, and, uh, and you'll get there. All right, so that's my inspirational quote for you for today. 
That's basically me stalling while I try to figure out how to render this wheel. So you can see in the back, um, we've got, you know, we've, shape is starting to emerge. We're gonna darken up, obviously, a lot of this interior headspace here because we're bringing this down. Um, I just feel like this is, these are all things that you can, that you can do as you're going. You don't want to watch me continue to darken things, but uh, I'll hint at it a little bit. You know, we've got a little inset there. This comes around like that. There's a little ledge back there. I used to have a 69 Camaro for a hot minute, or a 69 Corvette, and it had a little ledge back there where you could fit like half of a suitcase or a couple boxes of donuts or three golf clubs. So even if you have a supercar, there's still room to put stuff. Just um, I'm not sure you can get enough in there like you're going on a road trip. All right, so that's a little bit of the, uh, the basic rendering. We're not gonna do this door. I'm just gonna keep going without it. But, um, but now it's, it's wheel time. So uh, hold on one second while I uh, get my coffee here. And Okay, all right, we're rolling. It's like 11 o'clock at night, but uh, I'm not gonna stop till we have this video done. Let's take a close-up focus at, uh, at this particular wheel here. So as you remember from the other side, we uh, laid out the hub and spoke. So I'm going to go ahead and continue this spoke, but uh, I'm correcting some of the lines from the other side that are obviously wrong. So that's why, that's why a lot of this may not really match up, and you'll be able to see some of the errors from the other side. But... Um, Whatever, we're just gonna keep going. All right, so you can see what I'm doing here. I've kinda got the equally distributed burst going around. And I think for these rims, maybe what we're gonna do is a bit of a, uh, bit of a uh, prong approach like this. So we're gonna make each of these a prong, almost like a, uh, like a jet engine like a fan. I think that'll be a cool effect and be true to the kind of Lamborghini inspired motif that we're that we're doing here. Okay, so so we got some of that going on. Now as you bring it in, maybe I need to bring this in a little tighter here. Um There you go. As we're bringing this in, the, the closer you get in towards the center, I mean, obviously I could have planned this out a little better, um, but there's some detail work here that is gonna be pretty laborious. Um, so we're gonna continue the lines behind it. Now's where we're gonna go ahead and try to darken in some of what, what is going on behind this rear lip. So obviously, we can go ahead and switch back to our dark pencil now. Um, we can bring in some of this darkness behind here because um, these are all going to be uh, behind the spokes like that. And you can take it gradually. You don't have to get it perfect every time. But, um, but go ahead and darken just to where that rear lip um, comes in in the back there. All right, so you can see how that's, how that's flowing. I'll, I'm going to hit pause there so we can do something else and not sit here and watch. But um, one of the other things is I'm going to Go ahead and bring my shading down from the top because that rear lip is gonna be up there. And this shading here isn't because it's a shadow, this is because this is usually a, a blue reflection. Um, I'm gonna lighten this up a bit like that. And uh, if I had my really cool precise eraser, we would do a little bit of, bit of work on that, but um, I lost it, so. All right, so basically what I'm doing now is adding some of the shadow work um, behind these behind these spokes. And, uh, you know, I don't know why I picked such a, such a complicated <laughs> rim design. This is, I'm gonna be here all night um, doing this. But um, you can see once we're confident of those lines, I'm going in now and pushing a little harder and bringing out some more contrast in it. The other thing we can do now that we have these spokes is we're going to bring some kind of like a shadow. See how I'm doing that? Because the light's coming down this way, so it's reflecting back some of those spokes. And this isn't really, this is a really deep dish with not much detail for a supercar. Um, this isn't really that true. This is more of like a custom kind of look to it. I'm going to add a little bit more 
rubber on the rim there. I do like to make mine just crazy super low profile, but I realize that um, it's ridiculous. So, okay, so now we're bringing, that in, bringing this in. I might hint at some of the treads coming up with my really thick pencil. You see how I did that? And uh, from there, you've got a pretty good sense as to your, to your rim. Now, this is gonna be a lot darker, so I'll go ahead and do a side shadow like this. Go ahead and bring that down. When I'm doing a coverage section, I'm kinda going in a circle with my finger like this. See that? When I'm going like this, I'm going one direction. Haha, <laughs> one direction, um, over and over like that. Um, all right, so that's the kind of the rear wheel that gives you a sense as to how um, how that might shake out. Now, I do want to finish this without keeping you here the entire night. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it here, but this is just a little example. Uh, maybe I'll go ahead and finish this another day and um, post up the finished product. But you can see, I feel like pencil takes a little longer to get through. I'll tell you what, let's finish the headlight and, uh, and then we'll be done. All right, so obviously... Um, Headlights have come a long way in terms of what they're made out of, and this is going to be an LED, you know, light strip combo. So I'm going to give it a firm black outline first. And then for a lot of lights, we need, really need to think through, like, what's the personality of this light? Uh, what's going on in there? And uh, for this one, we're going to bring a kind of um, illuminated bar through this bottom part, like that. And maybe a second line that drops down like that. So maybe that's um, LED, uh, maybe it's just a light bar, but we're gonna go ahead and just kind of give that some shading. And this is a, a trick I do when I'm doing color renderings too. I'll go ahead and overdo how much stuff is, is on here. Um, like this, and then I'll go back um, with either my kneaded eraser or a pencil eraser and uh, kind of pull out, see what I'm doing? Some of those like that. So that's okay, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing here, I'm just kind of experimenting. So um, the other thing that we can do, as I said before, this is kind of the focal point of your car and I should have done this wheel, uh, I apologize, but um, we're gonna go ahead and go back with our eraser just to pull out some contrast. And if it's too much, obviously you can just darken back over it. But see what I'm doing there? So I can pull out some additional contrast if, it, if I went too too dark. Um, I guess this is, the, this is like the equivalent of in my other videos when I do color work and we apply that white, that white paint. But you can see here, that just pops it a little bit. Um, all right, so there you go. There's a little bit more demo on the uh, car rendering with pencil. So maybe we'll come back and finish it another day. But I think that's good for now. I hope that was helpful. And if you have questions, post them. And uh, subscribe to get even more good stuff on all things cars. All right. John Barnes out.